Hi everyone, so I am going to be sharing how to use the LinkedIn articles that we just released on Change Media Co. This was a highly requested um, by several of you to start having articles and there was some lot, a lot of feedback of people wanting articles to post on their own personal websites and I kind of had some conversations with them as to why that is not necessarily good for SEO and good for your business and so I'm going to share that with you and then I'm going to take you through how to actually utilize the LinkedIn articles that we're sharing. I'm going to try to be releasing two new ones per month and there are four loaded in onto the membership that you can check out now. Um, but when it comes to SEO, which is search engine optimization and ensuring that your business can be found on Google or other search engines like Bing, we want to make sure that there's no duplicate content. And when it comes to duplicate content, what does that mean? Well, duplicate content means that stuff that is on one website, the exact copy is found on another website. And why is this bad? Because what I like to call brownie points for Google is they go and they have like these, you know, they call them web crawlers. And it's basically just technology and algorithm that goes through different websites and sees what a website is about. And if it's basically copying another website in terms of like, let's, you could kind of consider it plagiarizing, um, but they just call it duplicate content. And one thing we want to avoid is duplicate content. So we want to avoid posting the same articles um, from one website to another. So there are other websites out there and memberships that offer blog articles that you can just copy and paste directly onto your website site. Um, and we always want to say that is a huge no-no to do that because it actually is hurting you more than it's helping you. So instead of doing something like that, we wanted to focus on LinkedIn Pulse. Now, if you're new to LinkedIn or you have a LinkedIn, but maybe you don't use it, there's a feature on there that you can actually write your own article and publish it. Now, one thing about LinkedIn that's very different from a website um, and search engines like Google or Bing is they don't actually ding you for duplicate. Con content and Google doesn't ding LinkedIn for having multiple of the same articles published across LinkedIn. So why is this good for you? Well, this is great because it allows us as a membership to be able to mass produce blog content and articles that you can use across LinkedIn without worrying about being penalized for duplicate content like Google does across their search engines and websites. So what this means is that when it comes to the articles that I'm going to share with you right now, the biggest thing that I want you to take away from this is that they are for LinkedIn only. And um, when it comes to publishing them, we just ask that you only use them for LinkedIn Pulse articles. You can use them to print them out and share them with clientele, but please do not share these anywhere else on the web, especially your website, because it will come back to us that we can see that it's duplicate content since we do own the content. Um, and then it just basically is a, you know, it kind of dings everyone trying to play the game. So use these articles for LinkedIn. I'm going to show you right now on the screen how to do that. And right now I am um, going from our dashboard into the LinkedIn articles tab, which you can access the LinkedIn articles directly from your dashboard. We're going to probably put it under websites, but you'll see where that is. And I will link it directly in the newsletter. And when you're here, you're going to see the LinkedIn Pulse articles as you scroll down. Now, as we add more articles, we will, you know, fill this up a little bit more. Like I said, we're going to try to get to two a month, um, but they are very thoughtful um, articles that are written out. We've done our research. We've had copywriters come in and they are just really good articles that we've had several real estate experts look, o look over and agree with what is being written. So how to use these is when you come over here, you're going to see that the article has the title at the top. So this, in this case, should you buy, sell, or refinance a second home? You can see when the article is written. So this article was written in July, 2021. It can be published on LinkedIn only. We just want to make that known. You can access the article by clicking this link and you can see the hero image. So when you click this, a little pop-up is going to show up and it's going to give you that breakdown as well. The article title, what month it was written in, you know, just a clarification on where it can be shared and published and a hero image that you can actually use on LinkedIn and then access to the article via a Google Doc. So when you click that link, it's going to take you to another tab 
And when that tab opens, you're going to see the article terms um, and conditions for that article. And as you continue to scroll down, you're going to see how to best use that article. And any questions you might have, you can um, email them to us at hello at Change Media Co. So you can see that all there. And then on the second page, you're going to get to the article. So this is the article. You can go in here and make any modifications to match your branding or your business as needed. Or you can paste it exactly, copy and paste it exactly as is, um, as there's no links to any one specific business. And what you're going to do is you're just going to make sure that you're logged into LinkedIn, as I've done so in this other tab. And when you get there, you're going to see I'm on the home page. I'm not on my actual profile. But where it says start a post, you're also going to see that there's a section that says a write article. So you're going to select a write article. You're going to click next. And then it allows you to go in and write your article. So where this image is, that's where you can actually upload that image that we just talked about. I'm just going to use this one just because it's the first one I can find in here. You can add a credit and a caption. However, all of the images provided are royalty free stock photos that you can use without adding any credit or you can add your own image that you personally have if you want to personalize it a little bit more. Where it shows the headline, that's actually where the title is going to go. So this is where you copy paste the title. And where it says right here, this is where you copy and paste the blog article. Now you can easily add in any links directly into um, this article or you can do it in the Google Doc if you save it as, as a copy. Um, but this is where you put it, then you can publish it, you can make any other changes up here, and you are good to go. So that's how you publish a LinkedIn Pulse article. Again, if you go back to our dashboard under LinkedIn articles, you'll see all of those articles for you to access. And like I said, every month we'll have a couple more added onto there. So just keep an eye out for that. But that's how you use the LinkedIn Pulse articles if you have any questions. As always, please feel free to reach out to us via email or you can reach out to us on Instagram DMs. We try to respond to those fairly quickly and good luck out there and I will start checking out your LinkedIn Pulse articles.